Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on PDNF to PCNF. Okay, now this is the given problem. Okay, find PCNF from PDNF of A is P conditional Q. Here the given formula can be denoted by A. A contains the formula P conditional Q. For the given formula, first we have to find out the PDNF. Once we are finding out the PDNF, from that one we have to find out PCNF. Okay, so this is the task we have to do that. So the given formula A, from that given formula A, we have to find out the PDNF of the given formula A. Once we are uh, finding out the PDNF of A, from that one we have to find out the PCNF of A. Okay, so this is the procedure we have to follow. The given formula A is P conditional Q. So, P conditional Q can be written as negation P or Q. We are already know that the formula P conditional Q is logically equivalent to negation P or Q. Okay, next one. Here we have to find out the PDNF. PDNF is nothing but okay sum of min terms. Sum of min terms. Here uh, I am writing negation P or Q. Okay, here it is not a min term. Here it is not a min term. Okay, to convert this into min terms, I have to write in this way negation P and true or Q and true. Okay, negation P and true is nothing but negation P. Q and true is nothing but Q. Okay, here according to the formula, P and true is logically equivalent to P. Okay. In the same way, Q and true is logically equivalent to Q. Okay. By using this formula, we have to write in this way. Now, negation P and this can be written as Q or negation Q because in this uh, min term, what is the variable we are missing? Q variable is missing. So that true can be written as Q or negation Q or Q and here what is the variable that is missing? P variable. It can be written as P or negation P. I have to write. Okay. Here the formula is Q or negation Q is logically equivalent to true and P or negation P is logically equivalent to true. Okay. Now true can be replaced as Q or negation Q. Here true can be replaced as P or negation P because here the variable Q is missed so that T can be replaced as Q or negation Q. Here variable P is missed. P can be written as P or negation P. True can be written as P or negation P. Now Apply the distributive law. Negation P and Q. With the negation P, we have to multiply Q by using and connective or negation P and negation Q. Next. Or here Q and P or Q and negation P. So Q and negation P. Okay. Now it can be written as negation P and Q. Okay. Here also negation P and negation Q or it can be written as P and Q because according to the commutative law P and Q is logically equivalent to Q and P. This can be written as negation P and Q. Okay. We have to observe that negation P and Q, here negation P and Q is there. 
So instead of these two terms, we have to write only one term among this two. So I am writing only one time negation P and Q or negation P and negation Q or P and Q. Here what is the formula we are using? So P or P is logically equivalent to P. According to the formula, this one and this one. Okay, this is P and this is P. P or P is equal to P. Okay, so now observe this one. So this is one main term. This is one main term. This is one main term. Okay, so all the main terms are connected by using R connective. So then it is called as PDNF. Okay, disjunction of main terms is nothing but PDNF. So therefore, PDNF of A is equal to negation P and Q or negation P and negation Q or P and Q. Okay, now uh, once we are finding out the PDNF of A, now PDNF of negation A. PDNF of negation A. So before going to the PDNF of negation A, how many number of variables are there in the given formula? That is 2. N is equal to 2. With the number N, with the two variables, how many possible truth values we are getting? That is 2 power n, that is 2 power 2, that is equal to 4 possible truth values. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Okay. Now, uh, for each and every possible truth values, we have to write the min term. Min term is nothing but, so p value is true, we have to write p. q value is true, we have to write q. Both are connected by using conjunction. Next, p value true, we have directly taken p. q value false, I am taking negation q. So, in between them, we are using and connective. Next, p value false, I am taking negation p. q value true, I am taking q. Both are connected by using and connective. Next, p value false, it can be taken as negation p. q value false, it can be taken as negation q. Both are connected by using and connective. Okay, so these are the main terms where possible with two variables. Okay, P and Q. So now PDNF of A contains what are the main terms? Negation P and Q. It is already there. Negation P and negation Q. It is already there. P and Q. It is already there. So PDNF of A contains these are the uh, main terms. Next one. PDNF of negation A means among the four possible min terms, three min terms are already exist. Okay. PDNF of negation A is nothing but the remaining min. Among the four min terms, what is the remaining min term is there? That remaining min term becomes the PDNF of negation A. So, already three min terms are already there in PDNF of A. PDNF of negation A means only it contains this one. P and negation Q. So, PDNF of negation A is nothing but P and negation Q. So, here four possible truth values, four min terms are possible. First, uh, here three min terms are exist in PDNF of A. Okay, whatever the remaining min term is there, that remaining min term that is P and negation Q belongs to the PDNF of negation A. Okay, next one. So, Finally, we have to find PCNF. PCNF of A is logically equivalent to negation of PDNF of negation A. Okay. Whatever the value we are getting, apply the negation on that one. So, negation of P and negation Q. Okay. So, negation of P is nothing but P. Negation of and is nothing but R. Negation of negation Q is nothing but Q. Okay. So, P or Q. P or Q is the uh, PCNF of A. So, therefore, therefore, so PCNF of A is P or Q. 
okay in this way we have to solve the given problem okay so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel link so the velas vidhi master out okay in this way we have to solve any problem okay so thank you thank you for watching this video